Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful resolve tips and tricks in about five minutes. In this episode, I'll show you two ways that you can speed up your LUT workflows by giving you a fast visual representation of what the LUTs are going to do to your footage. The first method is a little bit time consuming, but like many projects, putting in the effort up front will make your life much easier further down the road. So to get started, and this is very, very important, you'll want to find some footage or a photo of a good-looking actor. You're going to be looking at this face a lot, so I recommend choosing a nice one. Also, I personally find it helpful to use a shot with skin tones, as it gives me a better gauge on what the LUT is actually going to do. In this case, I've already set up a three-node structure with a LUT node in the middle. Now this is a pretty common workflow when using a LUT in Resolve, and having it set up now will save me a few steps in the future. Now I've already done a bunch of these, so I'll just pick up where I left off, with these film emulation looks. I'll apply this last codec one. And you can see here that it's been applied to the image. Now I'll right click in the viewer and choose Grab Still. Then I'll open the Stills gallery. Boom, there's our still with the LUT. Now it's time to rename it. If you're going to knock out a bunch of these, it's very helpful to go to the Settings menu under Color Management and open the LUT folder, where Resolve stores all its LUTs. Now navigate through the folders and find the LUT you used, then copy the name of it and go back to Resolve. I'll close the Settings menu real quick. Then right click on the still and change the label. Paste the LUT name and hit Return. For organization, you can see that I've added a bunch of Power Grade albums to correspond to the LUT folders. Power Grade albums will be accessible to any project in this Resolve database, which is pretty handy. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out a way to export all of these in mass, so you're kind of stuck with what you build on your own system. Anyway, I'll drag this still into the Film Looks folder. If you already have the folder selected, Grabbing a still from the viewer will create it inside the folder you have selected. Now the question is, how does this make you faster? First, select a clip in the timeline that you need to grade. Then, shift select all the stills you've created in this folder. Next, click on the split screen button in the viewer. Then, choose gallery grades from this drop down menu. And boom, just like that, you have a quick preview of what the LUTs are going to do to your footage. Pressing Shift F will give you a larger view, and you can play back or scrub to see how the LUT works throughout your clip. Going back to our standard view, when you find the one you want, double click on it, and Resolve will apply the LUT and the node graph to your clip. Pretty sweet. But Spencer, you say, I don't have time for all this. Can't I just buy something that does it all for me? Well, of course you can. Color Grading Central has a plugin called LUT Gallery. Currently, it's only available for Mac, but they are working on a Windows version. In any case, I think it's money well spent because you don't have to build all this yourself. Going back to the beauty shot, I'll get rid of the LUT and replace it with an OpenFX plugin. In the effects library, I'll search for LUT to find the plugin, then I'll drag it onto the node. As you can see, it gives you a very similar layout to what we did in the gallery, but now you can navigate directly in the viewer. You can also grab a still of this setup if you'd like. Now this tip isn't exactly new or earth shattering, but if you use LUTs on a regular basis and you're sick of blindly clicking around, this is a pretty good one. For more great DaVinci Resolve tutorials, check out rippletraining.com, the number one resource for DaVinci Resolve certification training.